Today, I'm going to talk about wisdom and hope. The two go together. When you have the wisdom of God coming through you, the wisdom from above, from God, of course you have hope. It's a natural thing because you know it's not from you. You know it's a higher wisdom, and you're following that wisdom. It says in Proverbs 2, verse 2, make your ear attentive to wisdom. That's not talking about the outer ear. Most of the time it's not. It's talking about the inner ear, listening to the still small voice of God. And also it says, incline your heart to understanding. This is talking about leaning in on God's understanding, not the other way, not avoiding it, but resting in this, knowing that this is reliable. Wisdom and also hope, they are traveling companions. Wise men and wise women learn to think optimistically about their lives, their future, and their faith when they are guided by the wisdom of God. Now, pessimists, well, they choose instead to focus their thoughts and their energies on fault-finding, on criticizing, on complaining. To become wise, we must choose inside of the human mind hope and we must live accordingly to God's word. To become wise, we must seek God's guidance. And often it is the guidance from above. It's guidance that at first we can't even comprehend because it's so much different from the way that we would have gone. We must learn the lessons of life and we must live by the guidance of God, the wisdom of God, to trust our hope in the wisdom of God. Well, if you want the gifts from God of wisdom and also hope, then remember this. The ultimate source of wisdom is the Word of God. And often this will come through the still small voice inside of you. When you take God at God's word and follow God's path, you will be one of the wise ones, and you will never lose hope. Matter of fact, your hope will be increasing every day that you live in this way.